Hey everyone, it's Jing. And Monica. I know it's kind of late, but we both, well I had the late shift today and it's Sunday. Decided to squeeze in um, some video time. Um, thank you to all our new subscribers and um, thank you so much for um, tuning in and asking us questions and commenting on their videos. Um, we love the comments. We love the comments because you guys give us ideas and also great advice to other people who are watching our videos. Well, happy Spaghetti Sunday. And, we uh, have like a half hour left of Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, let me get wine glasses. Alright, so everyone knows this is going to be my challenge every Sunday is how to get, how to talk and open up the wine bottle at the same time. This time, oh, what did you pick this one up? Trader Joe's, of course. Maybe Washington State 2009. Maybe it's imported in Spain. Who knows? So, um, so this is local wine. So today's topic is gonna we're gonna cover um, how we knew we were gay, or I was gay and she was gay. We both had two different stories. Here is the challenge. You should tie me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should have opened it. <laughs> Did I open it last week? Go, 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 go. I'm gonna go further in there. That's what she said. Honey. <laughs> Getting better. All right, so do you want to go first? Mm -hmm. How you knew you were gay since you look straight? Okay, you pour the wine in. Well, my earliest memory of gayness that I remember would be kindergarten. Whoa, that early, huh? But not like I really knew what it was. I just knew there was this girl that I thought was really, really cute, and I wanted to be her friend because she was cute. Oh. I still, like, I don't remember her name, but I remember, like, thinking she was cute. She was, like, mixed and had, like, light hair, and she was hot. How in kindergarten you knew she was hot? I guess she was cute hot. I thought she was cute hot at a kindergarten age. Cute oh. hot? <laughs> cute hot? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to... So, yeah, that was my early gay clue, I guess, that I still remember. And what else? Did we drink? Did you drink it? Yeah, I did. Oh. Wow, she can't multitask either. Ooh, that's different. That's good. But it's just... Strong? Woo! Mm. Good old Washington. Woo! Then, I guess, in my teenage years, I was attracted to people that weren't boys. <laughs> the same sex, okay. Yeah. But did you think you were gay? Like... Um... No, I don't think I ever had, like... I don't know. I guess it was just, like, a confusing... Time, mm -hmm. where it's like you start having feelings that you didn't have before mm -hmm. for the same sex, and then you try it and you like it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not hard to try if you're curious. Yeah, so I guess if you're curious, try it, and if it feels right, which I think it felt better than any straight relationship that I've ever had on a, like, emotional and physical and just th that connection, I think. I felt I had a better connection with women than men. During that point, how do you know you were gay? You didn't know. The more involved and I got with women and... But you were still, were you still teetering? You were still teetering, yeah. right? Yeah. That was, like, around, what, 18... 
What? What? At, okay, so I think at 18. eighteen was the last age I dated a guy, and I wasn't really that into it. It was more of like so. I guess like seventeen, eighteen was the last time I was actually serious with a guy. Mm-hmm. And then I got more serious with girls and was like, okay, yeah, I'm staying here. I'm not going back that direction. Mm-hmm. Women are better. I second the motion. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to define like that. It's not like an exact moment. I guess it's a combination of experiences. Mm-hmm. To know you were gay. Mm-hmm. Um, I think everyone has their stages. Like I went through denial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like high school. Because everyone, not everyone, well, when you're young, you care what people think. Just reverting back to our coming out vlog, our coming out story. You know, I cared what people think. So I was in denial. So I still try to keep keep dating guys while I still had my girlfriend in high school. Try to hide it. Um, But to think about it at a young age, when I start thinking about my behavior, like, again, we didn't know what gay men you mm-hmm. you admire um you admire you know someone of the same sex because you didn't think of any boundaries or whatever um the elementary school you know i used to have best friends like with girls and we used to write letters to each other and just like because we're best friends and but i used to get really overprotective of girls if you know boys would talk to them or whatever and <laughs> i would never i wouldn't, i wouldn't be like jealous i just so don't know. want to yeah i didn't know i was just like i would get like jealous i guess that they she was getting that these girls were giving the guys attention and they were just little so i don't know it's just the emotions built up and you can't help but feel a certain way when you're that young and for some reason at that time it's like you're not confused so when you start going into middle school and high school, that's when you get confused because you want to be a certain way because people expect you that, that to be image. that way. That image and mm-hmm. also you care about what people think. And I think about it now, I'm just like, okay, you know, if I do this, then someone's going to talk shit about me and talk crap about me. And I don't want that, so I have to be a certain way. And I'm so sorry. bread's loud. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so I kinda was still acting upon feelings, you know, going with my feelings, not hiding it when I was younger, but when I got into middle school and uh ele- middle school and high school, I started covering it up because okay, I no People are gonna, not going to like me because I'm gay. But even though I was in sports, you know, I still was like, all oh, yeah, gay stuff or whatever. But secretly, I was so curious, you know. And that was when I was trying to figure things out. Maybe I'm bi. And I think everyone starts off that way is that, no, I'm bisexual. Well, maybe that will kind of like massage. Soften it. Yeah, soften it, it, soften it a little bit. But no, it's still hiding who I was. And... Um, I think we got a, like a message from one of our viewers saying that, um, their mom gets disappointed because she is with a girl, you know, lesbian messaged us and I tell them, be yourself because you're going to regret hiding it. Hide it because it's only going to be hard for you in the long run. Yeah. Like I had to like pretend to try and go back to being straight. For a mm-hmm. while after I came out because my parents were so upset. So I did the whole date a guy, bring him home, and like show him to my parents type of thing while I was still dating girls. So I mean, that didn't get me anywhere. And that it hurts. Was just wasting that guy's time. It hurts people because mm-hmm. the guy probably really likes you and mm-hmm. you're just using him as a mask, basically. Mm-hmm. And. It's selfish, yeah. even though it's like mm-hmm. you're trying to protect yourself. It's still selfish. So I didn't know I was truly lesbian or gay until probably after high school, because during high school, you know, with my high school sweetheart, I was just said, "No, I'm just, I just like 
you know, my girlfriend at the time. I'm not, I don't think I'll ever like any other girls. But then I started slowly getting attracted to other girls and guys were out of the picture. Mm -hmm. And now, during that time, I started meeting other lesbians and started talking and getting into other relationships and stuff. And once you start opening yourself out there and putting yourself out there, um, you start realizing that, yeah... I am full on gay, so <laughs> I'm a total lesbian. <laughs> so be as gay as you want to be at that time and let it, let you figure it out as you go. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's just the easiest way to do it and don't be afraid of your feelings and Talk to someone about it. Send us a message. Mm -hmm. um, very supportive. Mm -hmm. Regardless of being gay or trying to be accepted by your parents. We've been through it all and now we're just trying to overcome the bigger picture which is trying to get gay marriage and same-sex marriage recognized in every state. There's mm -hmm. something way beyond you know, coming out um, and coming out to your parents, so that's in phases of your life. A lot of people look back and they're like, huh, maybe I did have some gay memories, but you didn't realize that they were gay, like... The thing about now, like, <laughs> with some people who are married with children and mm -hmm. they get, they marry some, you know, guy... And they realize, hey, I've been hiding myself, and, you know, what am I doing, you know? And then they divorce, and... Then are... Then start listening to what will make them happy, and then they end up... And it's not being selfish yeah. at all. It's being true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Better for you, and better who for whoever is in your life at that time. So, we also want to bring up... Um, what happened on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a tragedy that happened. Um, very sad tragedy. We wanted to bring light to that and um, our condolences to every family. Gosh, there's so many kids that... So sad. I was looking at the names and the birth dates of everyone, 2006, 2005. Mm -hmm. They were first graders, right? Mm hmm So, really young age and it's unfortunate to have a loss right before the holidays and it's just very tragic so um our condolences go out to them the family and mm -hmm. hopefully um you guys had thought about the tragedy and you know kind of embrace everything around you because it could just be taken away in a snap mm -hmm. and you know I think about that every day that I work because I work in a really rough, you know, mall. And I had the unfortunate experience of someone pulling a handgun out at one of my assistant uh, assistants in the past. And I was right behind him. So it's, you know... It's scary. It's scary. But be prepared. And, you know... Tell your loved ones that you love them. Yeah, every day. day. Every chance you get. Maybe a simple text message. You don't know. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, that made me think about what could be taken away in, in, a, in an instant. So. Keep your loved ones close. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, again, hope you guys had a great weekend. Um. Watch us on for a couple of days, and some great, you know, holiday topics are coming up. Uh, check mm -hmm. us out on Fridays. We just did a video about all our holiday traditions, so if you need some holiday ideas, go ahead and check it out. Yep. Let us we'll, know what you think. You'll put down the link down below for that video, and uh, yeah, share your thoughts. And um, yeah, you guys have a great holiday, and we will see you next Sunday. All right. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.